I'm happy to welcome you to Armenia. I'm sure you know that uh, this is first ever visit of the president of the UN General Assembly to our country. And I should say that it is quite symbolic that this visit takes place uh, in a year when we celebrate the 30th anniversary of uh, Armenia's membership to the United Nations. Mr. President, we supported your presidency, your chairmanship, uh, uh, also, we had huge sympathy to its theme, Presidency of Hope, and we do believe that uh, in these days, uh, in these uh, um, unprecedented conditions of climate and health challenges, uh, the only way for international relations should be cooperation and result-oriented multilateralism. From our side, we tried, of course, to contribute to this agenda, to overcoming this, uh, these uh, issues, these challenges. We, uh, through our representative to the United Nations, uh, had our input and in contribution as, uh, as, uh, as, as our representative was entrusted with the uh, chairmanship of the budgetary and administrative uh, um, committee of the General Assembly. Uh, I don't want to have this uh, to, to have a very long introduction, but I, there are a couple of things that I do want to emphasize. Uh, I would like you to inform you that I personally like very much your agenda and your efforts um, regarding gender equality. This is very uh, important issue in Armenia too. Today we will uh, have an opportunity to participate in the ceremony of giving the certificates to the youngest diplomats, I would say, the, the ones who are uh, just becoming uh, diplomats. And you will see that the composition of this group, I was told that the 10 out of 13 uh, right. are graduates, yes, they are, they are uh, young women. So we, we, we have huge hope that uh, we will succeed in this area as well. I would also like to appreciate UN Office's uh, um, efforts. This office throughout these years had a really huge contribution uh, and input uh, in uh, sustainability and development of, of Armenian institutions in various spheres and, and areas. So I will stop here. Welcome, Mr. President. Welcome once again. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my dear minister. I'm very pleased to meet with you today, and I'm very grateful uh, for the warm and generous hospitality accorded to me and my delegation uh, during uh, this uh, visit to your beautiful country. As you said, uh, this is the first visit by uh, PGA uh, to uh, this great country. Uh, I'm also happy that uh, this visit is coinciding with uh, the 30th anniversary of uh, the membership of Armenia uh, to uh, the United uh, Nations. Uh, I'm uh, also very pleased uh, with the support of uh, Armenia on my priorities uh, throughout the uh, presidency of HOPE. I also commend uh, Armenia's firm commitment to multilateralism and upholding the principles of the Charter of the United Nations as well as its substantive contribution to the work of the United Nations. In addition, uh, Minister, I congratulate you on a successful first term in the Human Rights Council. It is a testament uh, to the recognition by the international community of your country's democratic transformation and substantial progress in its uh, protection and promotion of human rights that uh, you earned a seat and very well uh, executed uh, the term faithfully in the past uh, three years. I also wish to thank you, uh, Minister, for your personal dedication uh, to multilateralism and also uh, to the United Nations particularly. Uh, you and your office have been a reliable partner for the United Nations over the years and your willingness uh, and initiative to participate in the Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework for Armenia is important not just for the country, uh, but also for the world as we strive to meet our SDGs. I also wish to thank you uh, for the uh, cooperation uh, that you are giving uh, to the UN team here. Uh, the UN team here is to assist and work with uh, the Armenian government in whichever way we can. Uh, for, uh, and uh, I, during this uh, past two days, 
I have had very good meetings uh, with the President, with the Prime Minister, uh, with the Vice uh, Deputy Prime Minister, uh, also the Vice uh, Speaker, Deputy Speaker of the Parliament, and the civil society, and uh, it has been an outstanding uh, interaction.